Right. We wanted to just get straight out, but a uh, big fella here <laughs> insisted on being fed first, didn't you? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh yes. Hello, my name is Martin and welcome back to another video. We've fed James so we can crack on with filming. <laughs> um, so we're here in the Lancashire coal field and we're going to look at some features. The first one is uh, this little pumping station here, this stone pumping station. We're here with the Northern Monkeys, by the way. Hey. Uh, so who better to show us around the remains of the Lancashire coal field and all the industrial stuff that's still here than these guys. So, like I say, we're at a bit of a pumping station. Uh, there, on the other side of that pumping station is the old shaft. What was the mine called? Are we allowed to say? No. So on the other side of that pumping station there, that it seems very quiet at the minute, is the old Gambleside Colliery. One of the shafts is there. Apparently it's flooded, but we're going um, to we're going to take a look down inside the shaft and see what we can see. Interestingly, though. We've got this little uh, trough here, which we think something to do with uh, directing the water that came out of the mine. Look at that. The biggest spider's web in the world, if you can see that. And it went down there and just over there. <clears throat> is the reservoir. Okay, so as I've said, this is the Gambleside Colliery. Here it is on the old maps. Now we're just outside, and the newest town is Burnley. As you know, the lads are from Burnley, so we're looking in around that area. I'm about to show you a shaft, um, and it's called the Pumping Pit Shaft, apparently. Um, it suffered from water seeping into the mine, uh, as you will see. Um, and this shaft, uh, it sounds like it was used to lower um, men and lift coal up and down it. It's 122 feet deep, uh, but apparently it was abandoned in the early 1900s and allowed to become a sump for the rest of the mine. So all the water from the old workings in, in Gambleside Colliery uh, have now pumped from this uh, this shaft into the Clowbridge Reservoir. Now, and it's still done today by the uh, by United Utilities who run the water around here. Now it's not running permanently. But you'll see the shafts, you'll see the water going in, and when it gets to a certain level, I think they switch the pumps on and they pump it out into the reservoir. Can you come in a bit with it and get, get to make sure you can stop holding your finger? The shadow. Okay, 122 feet deep. The top part of it is lined with brick and it then it goes into bare rock. You can see all the water ingress that, that, that's going into it and this is on a dry day. So where that is coming from, I don't know. Uh, before this was abandoned and used as, a, as a, a sump for the mine, there's a story that says men were lowered into this shaft in a tub attached by chains to the winding gear. As there were no guides along the sides of the shaft, the men had to stabilise the tub using sticks if it started to swing. That was good, so you could actually see the, the it was bare rock, weren't it? Yeah, at some shale. point. And we think the thing in the corner was the uh, the old pump. Why this one's here, obviously. You pump the water into there. And again, there's the Clowbridge Reservoir that it discharges uh, the water from the mine into. So the interesting thing about coming out here, in this rural area, is that down in Manchester, where we're from, obviously a lot of the collieries are now in built-up locations. And so all you've got is the shafts are just capped with concrete and there's absolutely no way in whatsoever. Um, wet earth, you can still see the shaft of where it was. Um, but there was th that, that route out of West Manchester was littered with collieries and there's just nothing to see apart from the odd methane extractor. Being out here in the hills, obviously things got left alone 
and there's more interesting things to find. Okay, so this is the baptistry. It's an open air baptistry <laughs> where baptisms took place out in the open. It was attached to a church that was here that opened in 1839. Now, as this little baptistry area is lined with uh, puddle clay and holds water very well, when the church was no longer used, this area was used to hold water for the steam engine, which was down at the pumping pit that we've just shown you. Now, the last baptisms here were in about 1870, but I think that's about to change, according to Boff. I baptise thee, Christopher. Christopher, I've been baptised. Give her. I've been baptised. Turns out it weren't the last baptism. 1870, they're talking wet. Get hey, baptised, James! <laughs> Come on, man, down in the baptism pool! Go on, man, you first. <laughs> Not get cleaner water than this, look. Watch, 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 watch. Devil be gone! <laughs> Have you been baptised? Yeah, with some nice clean water. <laughs> Dirtier than it looks. I mean, it's cleaner James. than it looks. But <laughs> Devil be gone! <laughs> Does that mean I'm something to do with Burnley now or something? <laughs> <laughs> I thought eating like a chippy in Burnley would have been enough. <laughs> what church are we in now then? What is that church we're in? Uh, I can't um, remember the parish now. Monkey Burnley something, <laughs> monkey, monkey or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Go on, lad. Go on. <laughs> I've done it, you can do it. Oh, the rocks are loose. <laughs> you step down there, there's another step in it there. Go down. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> easy, that. <laughs> it was easy, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can just see the remains of a tram road by those trees there. You can actually see where the tram road from the colliery, or one of the collieries up here in the hills went. And you can actually see it there. How good is that? And there it is on the old map. There was quite a few round here, these tram roads, uh, taking coal and goods um, from these old remote collieries down to uh, where it could be distributed. And here we are, this is the remains of the actual Gambleside Colliery. Now there's been mining activity at Gambleside since the 1600s, 1612 to be precise. Um, the, the, the colliery had a boiler house, engine house, winding house, together with an office, a workshop and a cabin where the men changed before going underground. There's also the remains of a chimney and a boiler house here as well. Working conditions were very difficult and the coal seam was often less than two foot six inches high. There it is on the old maps, long since gone, but you'll see there it says shaft. Now there's still evidence of the shaft, let's take a look. Joking. We don't know as it's been capped as the cap fell, Martin. Oh my we god. We don't know. I'm not sure what's going on, but there is a floor level about eight feet down from the surface. That is crazy. Metal, so you can see the Are you mad? No, just move the nails so we can get some of the stone line wall on the side. I've got, I can see it there with leggings, yeah. Oh you know my mean? god. It's not, I'll, show, I'll send you, I'll send you, you, could, you could be on the edge there of a flipping massive. Like the edge. <laughs> a massive shaft, couldn't oh, you? Oh well, Martin, think about it. This is Gambleside Colliery. 
Yeah. This is one of the shafts. The pumping shaft. Remember the pumping shaft down at the bottom of the hill, look? I can't believe that. So you don't know what's underneath that. Oh, it's just a shaft. When we come in the winter, the nettles weren't there and we could see an uneven surface down there. So it could have been capped, mate. And I think more than likely what's happened is they've filled it to the top with all the remains of the buildings, the old bricks, everything here has yeah. gone down the hall. Yeah. And then in the 100 years since then, it sank eight feet. That's why we've got the gap at the top. That's wow. what my brain tells me. Like, I, I don't, that could be totally wrong. Yeah. Uh, but what I do know, as for depth, this colliery is gamble side colliery the pumping pit shaft what we showed you at the bottom look what we're down at the bottom of the hill yeah level with the water that goes into the same mine system martin so this shaft here yeah. accesses the same mine down there level with the reservoir wow so that should give you a gauge just how deep this shaft here is oh so to the bottom of the hillside yeah, do you know what i mean yeah. that leads to the bottom of the hillside yeah. just to come to the top of the last shaft wow did, it, did anything hit Right, so there's possibly a base to that in the boat. You wouldn't trust it, would you? No, you wouldn't. Yeah, well, Martin, you've seen what we get up to. We, we'd normally be in there digging down. Yeah. Um, it's a big one, and we're not actually sure how they capped it. Looking at it, they haven't capped it very well, have they? Well, I'm passing these chairs. Wow, that is scary, isn't it? What are we having? Um, we've got... Show us. <laughs> Salted caramel tea cakes. Where have you got them from? They're proper M&S. M&S, have you come in tomorrow? Oh yeah, I thought I'd treat you all. <laughs> That's very good of you. I know, I'm like that. Now, we're at one of the lads houses, so we're going back out in a bit, and we're going to, uh, I think this is mentioned something about a hole in the ground, not sure. Not all about, do you? No. Anyway, chin chin. Okay, so we're now at a different location. Um, I'm going to keep this one quiet because it is quite a dangerous location. Do you think we'll get in? <laughs> Where'd you take me? <laughs> you have put a little bit of weight on recently, haven't you? And we just went for full English. I don't think it's the best thing, really. <laughs> Are you excited, Martin? <laughs> well, not really, no. <laughs> sort of. You. Right. This is the last people he went in. <laughs> That's the last <laughs> Right, that's where we're going. In there. Wait till you see it. Is it a big drop? No, just uh, just ease in with your arms. Like ease yourself down, you'll feel your foot in. Breathe in. Shh, shit. Oh. Right, what's there? Be overload me foot there now. Shit to help. And you're in. Put your light on this much. Whoa! Buzzing. Right. Fair bit of a uh, sludge in it. I'll Got leave the trainers on the step, Bruce. Oh, right. Tip it up, I'll tip it up. I've got no hands. Yeah, that bag will open. It's all right. Chuck them on the step there, James. Right, we're in. I'm uh, punching my ankles in sludge. My God. That's the way ahead. Look at this. Good job of all the waders. This has to be some sort of tram road, surely. Easy now. That has deep. Boys are coming. Torch down. Still with the bear. Mm -hmm. 
nice bit of uh, stone wall. Yeah, yeah. Well, nice. beautiful arch. Might go over to the way you wages. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, it's getting shallow now. Nice, that breeze, isn't it? Yeah. Is that a track I can see there? Yeah, there is track in here somewhere, Martin. I think. Well, there is. Well, there's some there. Yeah, there's track, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, do you know what I've just remembered? What? Uh, have a guess what's in here as well, Martin. What? Cobbles. Cobbles? Cobble oh, rubs. I promise you, it, it's proper rare in coal mines. Uh, you know, like what used to separate the wooden sleepers? Yeah. Is this a collapse? Yeah. Ooh. It gets deep again. <laughs> Is it yeah, that? Yeah. Right, so we've got a collapse here. To be fair, that's probably the worst collapse. You got your gas mix on, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Mine's in my bag. Safety first, Martin. Safety first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> what a load of shite. I'm just waiting for someone to. Oh, safety first, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> oh! It's getting deeper, what's that? So we're deep again now. Right, this has to be a tram road, doesn't it, or something? Yeah, this is the old tram road, mate. It definitely had the tracks coming down it. Okay, so we've got a date of about 1840 on this particular mine. This is one of the wagon roads into the mine. Um, you will see evidence of track in a bit. This would have been worked by men, women, children and uh, eventually horses um, but fascinating to get this glimpse into to this it obviously it wouldn't have been as flooded as this back then um, but uh, what a place these stones to size yeah they are not they yeah but they just all lay nicely don't they it's a lovely art of this one isn't it Martin? yeah we're on to bedrock do you know what you can use the rock as a no well we're, the tunnel is now carved out of rock yeah. instead okay. of um, <laughs> that's them James, don't listen. So the theory is now, as we went through sort of grassy soft earth, it needed to be brick lined. But you'll see now as we go into the rock, the tunnel is now getting more and more sort of rock lined. Got so all the minus snot as well. <laughs> is that iron? That's iron coming through that, isn't it? Yeah, the brown one's iron. The white one, I think, is calcite. We call it minus snot, but I think it's just calcite. It's weird how brilliantly white one bit can be and then proper black on the Yeah, it must be black brown on the other bit. We're coming up to them calcites, I know we are. <laughs> this is called minus snot for obvious reasons. I think it's calcite deposits, one of the many uh, features that you see down here. <laughs> this looks like someone's blasted the wall. <laughs> mm. Yeah? Well, it doesn't look like snot to me, not anymore. <laughs> what? I'll tell you what it looks like. And look, Martin, you're just about to pass now from the, the man yes. brick. Okay. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so change now from the uh, stone archway and the whole thing is now cut out of rock. Oh shit, it's quite beautiful. Standing there so they can get past. Yeah, that's, that's the first time it's actually been used for yeah. what it were meant to, Kipper, since it got bloody closed. Is this it, like a... This is one of the cutouts for the boys to get out of the way when the mine oh, comes refuge. flying down. The refuge. <laughs> yeah, like... He's going to get in there while you lot cut past now, Martin, and it's getting used, used and used, we're getting used for what it's meant to be, yeah. to allow people past. Like a crossing. You don't know what's going on with that one, Martin? Did they just start one and then finish? Do you know what I mean? Is that for a kid to jump in? Is that... Put people in. Do you want me to get this started and then unfinished it? <laughs> 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 you getting round it? What? You getting round it? Put it just to jump out of the way. Yeah. <la
So we've got another, uh, another refuge there. See, another refuge. Um, so we're thinking it's probably some kind of really busy sort of tramway, this, if there's that many refuges um, for people to move out of the way. I've never seen a refuge in a tram tunnel like this. Uh, we're getting deep again now. Okay, so we've now entered absolute bedrock and of course we're flooded again now. Um, so the, it's quite a foreboding place this and given the collapses that we see along the way as well. I'm going to tell you a story about this particular mine. Evidence has come to light of six-year-old children being employed as drawers. Now I presume drawers were the kids that pulled the tubs along that were full of coal. One particular case which has been confirmed has come to light of a father carrying his young son up from the local village, asleep in a blanket to do his day's work, and then carrying the child back down again at the end of the shift. This was 18 years after the Act of Parliament banning children of this age from working in the pit, so this child was around about six years old. The Mines Act was of 1842, and it banned children from working down in the mines. But as we can see, 18 years later, and it's still being breached. Many of the coal uh, colliery owners lost a lot of the workforce because a lot of the workforce was made up of children, so it's quite an unpopular act. Imagine being six, seven, eight years old and working down here. Obviously, again, it wouldn't have been as flooded, but look at the place. <laughs> How long has that taken to form there? Between the tram tracks, would they? Yeah, the, what you can see all the sleepers, you know, where they had the wooden sleepers. Oh, yeah. They had the gaps for the wooden sleepers, same yeah. there, same there, same there. That falls it down the finger. So you can imagine the tracks, the carts were just a little bit bigger than that. Yeah. Uh, do you know what, James? I think we're good now. We can stand up here with the rest of the way. Was it? But again, I'm going to have to flip it back here because I'm losing light already. It's a bit selfish these um, miners, they didn't build for tall people. <laughs> <laughs> they must have had some tall ones. Yeah. I'm guessing this is a singing post. Uh, it doesn't look structural, but if it starts to creak, you know the walls are coming in, you need to get out. Well, that makes sense, because the gap, the gap above that is the same on the floor, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know, I don't know if they'd have the same concept as them, yes. what them ringing posts called, man. You oh, know well, they, yeah. I don't well, know if it's been the same concept, or if it was just to make it look tidier, because I can't see it offering much structural strength. No. But they did have quite a few of them because they're all on the floor. All around the floor, and on the roof. All around the junction, boys. Nice little. Um... What's this floor like? Is that all right? Yeah, it's all right. I just walk on the cobbled road if we can. The old cobbled one here on the left just keeps it a little bit higher out of the wall. So you can see where the rails were over to one side. So I presume the I presume the left hand side they may have been cutting out coal because further up we do see evidence of a seam. But we're about to approach the junction. Right. Is this the junction? Yeah, this is the junction. <clears throat> the junction and we must choose a path over on the right it's just lit one of the boys has gone up there with the torch but the path we choose first 
is the left-hand side. OK, so we seem to be walking uphill. Whether it was an illusion or not, I don't know, but it seemed to go uphill. You can't see it on the camera. There was also what felt like fresh air, but it, we were nowhere near the exit. So anyway, what I'll do is I'll show you the interesting parts of this, and then uh, we do eventually get to the end. I'll tell you what that is. That's for candles. You put, I reckon you put a candle on there in the brick. Normally, you can, what you can see is you can't, you won't be able to see any, you can see burn marks where the candle's been. But I reckon that little shelf there is for candles. Ooh, look at this. So, a bit of metal work there. Nice. Maybe there's one over there, okay. So, I mean, it's a different world, this will get a light, isn't it? Yeah. Martin, when you said what a dead man's walls, yeah. these here at the side of us look. Oh, that, yeah. That's like a, a man made wall. Do you know what I mean? Like, look, we don't know, is this blocking off yeah, no, like the way into the, the way. mine? Yeah. Like, is this one blocking off the way into the deeper mine? Uh, all we know about these is they're called really? dead man's walls and we was warned not to remove them. Really? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, X miners told us not to start. Like, I know I'm taking one out now. Because that's not touching the ceiling, but like, they, they told us to leave them walls very much alone. And because the dead man's walls, obviously, with a name like that, um, we didn't want to start messing with them. So if anyone watching this video can explain to us what the dead man's walls are um, and why we shouldn't be removing them. Can you tell us in the comments? Like a disused part of the no, well, it could be the old workings yeah, and then yeah. they just get to the end of the tunnel, brick it off like that and then no one's supposed to go down there again. Yeah. Uh, well look, this is the first place we've come to the coal seam, look. We're at the coal seam now. Oh right. Like, it's always small here. So there you can just see the coal seam there, that's the mm. slim layer there, you see it? This looks very fally now. Like I'm, I don't, I don't recall none of this. I'm not convinced all this is up through. A lot of this is probably just from other tunnels. What they threw here. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, you're always reassuring, aren't you? <laughs> Let's go off the <laughs> roof. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for that, Bruce. <laughs> Oi, it could be from somewhere else in the tunnel. <laughs> so, yeah, that is the ceiling that's come in there. That big... There. To me, it looks like a cock and balls. Um, if I'm being totally honest, I can't really decide for the writing. So we've got graffiti on the wall there. We're not quite sure what it says or how old it is. I'll just put it that way for you. It does look like a, a cock and balls to me. <laughs> it could be last year. <laughs> no, it's, it's at least a couple of years old, Martin. Look, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep checking your ceiling. You will see a, quite a few spots where there's graffiti now. Look, like Martin, I know it, it could be mine explorers. Because it is like basic drawings, yeah. more than names. Like people weren't very literate back in the day. No. So drawing a picture was likely, a, really. yeah, it was a lot easier than thinking. Another story for you. Uh, this happened in the 1860s in a bell pit. Now the bell pits were the most basic of pits. You dug a shaft and you did the workings around the bottom at the seam. A young boy was left for unknown reasons in the workings at the bottom of a bell pit. The bell pit fell in, completely burying the boy, and he was uh, found dead when they eventually got to him. And that was 1860s. Okay, the end for us, obviously not the end of the tunnel, this would have gone on and on, but for some reason now we either have a collapse or an infill. Right, so possibly journey's end, but at the top of that sort of fall there, that screen, there's a little gap. So I'm gonna go up, take a look, see if we can see over the top, see if this tunnel carries on. <laughs> yeah. 
Does end. Uh, nah, that's the end. It's just further collapse up there. That's the end of it. Okay, so back at the junction, we took a look at some of the finds we'd uh, come across along the way. Hoyle and Bishop, and he's got like a picture of a peacock or something in it. That's a local one, that Martin, that's from the village at the bottom. Look, he says on top as well, stopper to be replaced. So it says, uh, what it says, the borough, water foot, is it, water foot? Mineral water at the top and then yeah. water foot at the bottom. Wow. Water foot's on the way to Manchester from Burnley. Yeah, it's all Burt Bake way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful little bottle of that, apart from the fact yeah. it's broke on top. And it just broke? Fully dissolved. Oh my God, it doesn't it? Look at that. That is what's holding the seals in a lot of places. <laughs> okay, so we're now going to walk up the right hand side, the right hand tunnel uh, at the junction. It goes on for a long way, so I'm only going to show you the interesting bits uh, because obviously, you know, it's more of the same. What are you calling that? A ginny track? Yeah, this is ginny track, this. What the, do you mean? Do you mean the tramway? Yeah, the, tr the, tr the, the tram went on it, the wheel sat on that, like the, the wheel had like a. Uh, do you know what I mean? It was like that. If you looked at his profile side on, so the wheel sat on there, then obviously you need to fix your ginny chapter to something. Them eyes used to go down that wood, bolted in. Uh, we see these for some reason, Martin, I don't know why, when they've took all the metal to be used again in the war effort or whatever they've recycled the metal for, for some reason they don't take the ends. They just, do you know what I mean? They're usually still fixed in place. So down in this right hand tunnel it was quite different because suddenly the tunnel got a lot taller as you can see here. Um, completely different construct. Now mining goes back to the 1600s in this, this uh, mine. Interesting to see, to see one of the seams up there, that was really interesting. Possibly one of the earliest seams so God knows how long that goes back. Um, so whether that got exhausted, you can, obviously you can still see it. That's a drill, that. Yeah. This was amazing to see, to see where the miners has act, had actually drilled into the rock, possibly put gunpowder down there or dynamite, depending on when they did it, but a direct connection and actual visible, visible evidence of the men that was down here it is absolutely fantastic and to see the seam i was completely bowled over by that because this is what they chased and this is how big some of those coal seams were um as as narrow as that it's it's uh, but what they, that as a demonstration is a very very good like i don't know what kind that call you gave me the other day yeah, do you know what I mean? camel, is no look how brittle this is yeah. but we, we burnt this stuff in the blast furnace, in the fire, and it burns very, very well. So after walking down both tunnels for what seemed like miles, we did eventually get towards the end of this second tunnel. Apparently down there, there's just another blockage, um, and again, the water gets quite deep, apparently. So it's time for a brew, don't you? So that was one hell of a journey, but we finally got out, back to safety and back into the fresh air. Time to wash your waders off, and uh, we got that brew. How come you look so clean? It's in my hands. Yeah, they're a bit dirty, but your face is completely clean. Because I'm uh, at one with the mine. <laughs>